A popular comment I come across on videos showing proper hamster care is, I don't have the money for all that. To which I say, there is no excuse to not being able to provide your hamster with an enriching setup. Because if there's a will, there's a way. If you've currently got a hamster at home and don't have unlimited funds to just go out and purchase all of the most popular supplies right then and there, that's okay. Today, I'm going to show you you can still create an enriching enclosure for less just by using a little bit of creativity. It happens to the best of us. You get a hamster and find out about proper hamster care and become overwhelmed with the amount of new supplies you realize you're gonna have to get or upgrade to improve your hamster's care. The first most important supplies and the ones that will likely cost you the most is a large enclosure, safe deep bedding, and a proper sized hamster wheel. If you are currently trying to change your hamster's care, those are the first couple of supplies I would recommend focusing on saving up towards to improve first. The rest of the supplies, I'll show you what you can use instead. Throughout this video, cardboard and non-toxic glue are going to become your best friends. You can get cardboard from basic things like packages. Ikea also uses quite a lot when you buy something from them, so this can be reused for your hamster. Or you can buy moving boxes for a couple dollars at the hardware store, or even the dollar store. As for what type of glue, you'll want to stick to using a non-toxic white glue. The one I use in particular is the LePage non-toxic wood glue, but you can pretty much use any white school glue, just make sure it says non-toxic. The first things you can make yourself are platforms. We often use these for setting heavier things in the enclosure so that your hamster is still able to burrow underneath these items without it collapsing and crushing them. You can make these out of hamster safe wood such as aspen, birch, spruce, balsa or poplar, and some dowels. When it comes to hamster cage setups, we typically want them to be semi-crowded, and this is where a lot of people lack, because lots of supplies can be expensive, so some may struggle trying to fill up the cage, but we can easily do that by making different usable hideouts. The first hideout I made here was a peekaway hideout. I used the measurements from the Night Angel peekaway hideout to make my own, which is 12.2 inches long, 6.4 inches wide, and 5.3 inches tall. I cut these pieces out and I glued them together. I also used a bit of paper tape to hold them together and then once dry, I removed them. And then boom, you have the same product just for a lot less. This can be used underneath the bedding, but can also be used as a platform to hold heavier items. The next item you'll hear many hamster owners talk about, and that is a multi-chamber hideout. These are popular because they're supposed to mimic the many chambers a hamster naturally would have in their burrows for food, sleeping, and peeing. They typically are made out of wood and can be pretty expensive depending on where you live. But you're in luck because you can also make this out of cardboard. I actually did an entire tutorial on how to make this and you don't even need glue to make this one. The next hideout I went ahead and made was an angled hide just with some little steps on the roof. I literally just winged this when it came to the measurements. You pretty much can make any hideout you want as long as you're creative enough. I like looking at some of the wood hides on Amazon for inspiration, and these don't take long to make at all. All of the homemade items you're gonna see in this video only took one day to make. Another hide I went ahead and made was one out of a Kellogg cereal box. Many hamster owners will reuse boxes like these for their rodents. I took this one and I cut it in half just to make it the size I wanted, and then I cut a bunch of random holes around it. You can bury this into the bedding, and then it gives your hamster a fun place to hide, sleep, or chew. It can also help as a burrow starter if you've put it below the bedding. When it comes to other hideouts, you can look at the dollar store. Wax melt holders and kitchen sponge holders make great and cheap hideouts for your hamster. I have these two wax melt holders I've gotten from the dollar store and this super cute frog sponge holder. Just keep in mind the size of hamster you are buying for. Typically for a Syrian hamster, you'll want the diameter of the entrance to be 2.8 inches and for dwarfs, two inches for them to be able to comfortably fit through it. 
Another cheap item you can get from the dollar store is substrate dishes. You don't need to buy specific hamster made dishes for this. Just take a look down the bowl and cup aisle and you'll see there are so many glass and ceramic options to choose from. You can also use these cookie jars for putting different substrates in or as a hideout as long as you take off the lid. For the substrates themselves, if you can't get a hold of some of the popular options, you can get creative and simply use things like shredded plain paper, shredded toilet paper, or even just aspen shavings or some orchard grass hay, just to give them a different texture to dig or walk in from their normal bedding. A sand bath is a pretty important part in a hamster's enclosure. The cheapest safe option would be to use children's play sand from the hardware store. You'll just need to sift through this first to remove larger granules and bake it to ensure it's sanitized, and you'll likely not have to buy sand for a long time. Another thing I made to fill up the enclosure was a tunnel from cardboard. This is great for larger hamsters who may not be able to fit through toilet paper tubes since you can customize the size. I made this with corrugated cardboard so I was able to score some lines on one side and then just bend it into a circle. I added some glue and I put some rubber bands around it to hold it in place and after 24 hours it holds up pretty well. The next couple of items are good for just keeping your hamster busy. This one in particular, I used a box I already had and a bunch of toilet paper tubes to make a forging box. I started by cutting the box. I wanted it to be the same height as the toilet paper tubes cut in half, so I made it two inches tall. After that, I marked out lines on the toilet paper tubes so that I could cut them in half, and then I simply fit all of them into the box, added some seed mix, herbs, and even a couple pieces of toilet paper to make it more challenging when they're forging through it. For this next one, I will give you a trypophobia warning, but this one is super easy to make. All you need to do is get some corrugated cardboard and cut it into whatever shape you want and then take a pen or pencil and poke holes throughout the squares. Then you add your hamster seed mix or some smaller seeds and there you go. One of the easiest toys you could make for your hamster. This next boredom breaker involves some wooden hamster chews, hamster safe flour, I'm personally using buckwheat, and some of your hamster seed mix. Just add some water to the flour and make a pancake batter consistency and then dip it into your seed mix. Then you're going to place this onto a baking tray and bake it at 250 degrees Fahrenheit just until the flour is dry. Another boredom breaker I've shown how to make on my channel quite a few times just involves toilet paper, a toilet paper tube, and treats or seed mix. All you're going to do is fold the ends of the toilet paper tube, add in some shredded toilet paper, the treats or seeds, and then you're going to add some more toilet paper and then fold up the end. And then you got another super simple boredom breaker. And the last item you can find for cheap is a tea light candle holder for water dishes or veggie dishes. These make the perfect hamster sized dishes. So those are just a few ways you can create a more enriching hamster enclosure until you are capable of saving up and affording better products. I have so many other hamster DIYs on my channel, as well as there are a ton more other channels with some great DIYs out there that you can use to really fill up your hamster's enclosure for cheap. Remember, your hamster isn't going to care if it's a multi-chamber hideout made out of wood or cardboard. What matters is that they now have access to one that they can use. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!